In the name of God, the most gracious, most merciful. Dear students, uh, we are going to discuss uh, the life of the Holy Prophet at Mecca. And the topic that we are going to discuss, it is about the pledges of Aqaba. Pledges of Aqaba. Pledge means a strong promise that cannot be broken. Okay? And Aqaba, it is a name of a mountain where this pledge took place. Before I tell you about the details about pledges of Aqaba, I would like to take you back and we start the life of the Prophet when he declared himself as a prophet of God. You know that uh, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he declared himself as a prophet of God when he was 40 years old. Before announcement of the prophethood, he was highly respected. He had a, an excellent repute in the society of Arabs. He has been given the title truthful and trustworthy and each and every person in Arabia had a special honor and regard for the Holy Prophet. But this was before the announcement of the prophethood. But as the Holy Prophet وسلم, declared himself as a prophet of God, his new way, his, his life uh, changed and entered in a new phase where hardships, troubles, persecution, opposition and hostility he had to face. And you know that after declaration of the prophethood, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had to face physically, uh, physical, mental and psychological torture. Many of the companions, they have been martyred in the way of Allah. Like you know, Hazrat Sumayya, she was the first person, she was the first Muslim who sacrificed her life in the way of Allah. Okay? And after this, due to the increase in opposition, Muslims had to migrate from Makkah to land of Abyssinia. And after Abyssinia, Muslims had to face a social and economic boycott by the Quraysh. It was a, such an inhuman plan that was made to stop the separating message of Islam. But it also got failed. So, and when the social boycott came to an end, Holy Prophet had to face two tragedies. The death of his beloved wife, Hazrat Khadija and the death of his beloved uncle, Hazrat Abu Talib, who had been a great supporter and protector for, for him. After the death of these two great people, the life in Makkah became very difficult for the Holy Prophet. So in search of new avenues of Islam, Holy Prophet made a visit to Taif, but even then it was not so successful as it ought to be. Only one person whose name was Adas, who was a Christian slave, he embraced Islam. So uh, after coming back from Taif, Holy Prophet وسلم, confined his message of Islam to only those people who came outside Makkah. He preached Islam only to the strangers. Okay. So due to this effort, some in 11th year of prophethood. So uh, my dear students, it was the background of pledges of Aqaba. Now we are entering in the 11th year of prophethood. As I have told you,
as i have told you that the holy prophet after the visit to taif he confined his preaching to only to the strangers and some of the people who came from yasrab do you know uh, that uh, what is yasrab yes please yasrab it is the old name of madina some people who came from yasrab to visit the holy kaaba they met the holy prophet and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam conveyed them the message of islam they inspired and they embraced in 11th year of prophethood six people six people from yasrab they embraced islam okay it happened in 11th year of prophethood okay in 11th year of prophethood six person from yasrab they accepted islam okay and when they went back they also conveyed the message of islam to their friends and relatives so due to this effort next year in 12th year of prophethood in 12th year of prophethood Twelve people from Yasrab. They accepted Islam. Boys, you must know the difference. In eleventh year of prophethood, only six percent they embraced Islam, and when they went back, and due to their efforts, it the figure of six it converted into twelve. next year in 12th year of prophethood 12 people from yasrab they met the holy prophet at a place name at a mountain name akaba and they embraced islam okay and uh, this is called the first pledges of akaba stop it jimish